Hi guys and welcome back to Unapologetic. I'm your host Amal Evanobi. We got Taylor in the producers bay. Hello. <laughs> and today we have Dave Rubin on the show. Dave, <laughs> thank you for being I'm, here. I'm actually nervous about this segment <laughs> because I'm trying to be nicer. You know, I'm uh, no. Yes. I'm, people think of me as a relatively nice guy online. Yeah. But I thought I could still up the niceness, and then you drag me into this. Right gender injured. bending freak show yeah. <laughs> all right let's go i love how you're cluing people into oh. what we're about to no no it's good it's very good we're gonna try to stay as nice as possible yes. and sometimes that can be difficult yes. ladies and gentlemen this is a lesson we all have to learn in life today we're gonna be reacting to some crazy libs on tiktok which there's no shortage of in today's day and age but it's always nice to just bring them watch them maybe learn something that's the hope that you learn yeah. something in these wonderful diatribes that they put forward, <laughs> that there's some little nugget of knowledge in there of, of diversity and right. inclusion and tolerance. You're about to get a real knowledge bomb here because okay. apparently if either of us end up being fat in this lifetime, we have the ability to blame it on whiteness, even you. Even you have really? the ability. Uh, now let's watch this young woman explain how she gets to blame that on mm, whiteness. <laughs> I'm gonna prove to you why white people are the reason I'm fat today. <laughs> like she's straight if to the point. If I didn't go looking for spices, then various sea routes to Indian subcontinent and Africa and other places of the world would not get discovered. And if they didn't get discovered, then East India Company would never come to Indian subcontinent. And if they didn't come, then the fertility of the land would not get destroyed oh, because so many layers cultivate tobacco and dyes and opioid things like that. And if only time could be. stop, right? People wouldn't be fat. If only history wasn't history itself, I wouldn't be living in this state. And then, if that didn't happen, and if they didn't exploit and extract resources until <laughs> my ancestors were left with nothing to eat, we wouldn't move to this grain-heavy, very little nutritious diet that we have today. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the real point. Okay, so she's saying the white colonizers come in, they take up all the spices, they take up the land, and now we're left with this diet that leaves us fat, and the diet carries. Even if any of that was true, uh -huh. does she not realize? She just said it's they did this to her ancestors. That has nothing to do with what she eats. No. Lay off the McDonald's, lady. It's very true. Also, like She's I'm, not even that fat. She's yeah. got, you know, a little you know, she's got a little something. She, everyone just can lose little, five little pounds. Curvy. Yeah. She's a little yeah. curvy. Also, she's Indian. Yeah. I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's skinny Indians running around. Yes, and I have a good friend who likes women of that. Yes. You know, stature. That, that so size. maybe I could pass along. I feel like this is the kind of thing that in today's day and age, you could like write for your college dissertation and this gets you a degree. <laughs> I'm like so serious. I yeah. feel like this is what she wrote and it got her into Harvard. It I really did. I feel like she's got, is she going to like be sitting in a giant pool of food? Is that what's going on here? Ah, uh, you know, I maybe, and then she'll be able to blame it on you and oh, Taylor. God. <laughs> yeah, the white colonizers are force feeding her Twinkies and McDonald's. That's what's, that's what <sighs> is at stake here. That is really what's at stake. Uh, we've now learned that I think you can blame anything on racism in today's day and age. And she's a chick, right? There's no surprise here. I, this isn't one of those. I don't uh, think so. I don't think oh, it's one of them gender dude. bending. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Is there anything that you get to blame everything on, Dave? Yeah, it's called eating. <laughs> it's, called, it's called drinking too much and eating. It's called the results of my own actions. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, if it I know, isn't it the consequences. Sound, yeah, it doesn't sound as fun. Like I don't make a whole video like, oh God, I had all that pasta last night. Right. Why? Certainly doesn't get you 1.5 million views. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Something you should be eating more of. Bananas. Yeah, yes, yes. Very <laughs> true. I know both of you, you and I, are a little bit more maybe moderate on the, the topic of abortion. However, I think we can really take a strong stance on not being pro-abortion party. Uh, don't love abortion parties. Don't love, I've never really I been to one. find them to be a downer. <laughs> I can't yeah. speak about something I've really never been to, but I have a feeling the I The party wouldn't. is fine, but it always ends horribly. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, God. For one person in particular. What are you doing? Um, here here's the go. next one. I ever have to have an abortion? You bet I'm going to have a party i'm like gonna have like cupcakes with like aborted fetuses drawn on them lots of snacks lots i'm gonna come up with some sort of cocktail and call it the aborted fetus oh. and me and all of my friends we're just oh. gonna hang out eat a bunch hold of hold on hold on hold pause. on hold on 
Yeah. Before she continues. Mm -hmm. This is completely ridiculous. Yeah. This woman is implying that there is a man who would have sex with her. <laughs> is that, like, isn't that the basic premise? Can here? we get like a quick edited rewind of Dave being like, I'm trying to be so nice. Yeah. There is no man that will have, she has nothing to worry about. You really I'm going to, when I get done with this, I'm going to jump on her TikTok over there and just write, you have nothing to worry about, sister. You will never have to go to Party City with this endeavor no. in mind. No. Ever, ever, ever. Nobody would knowingly have sex with uh, that. Well, there's more here. Let's see what oh, else she no. has to say. About oh, no. Yummy dead fetus themed food. Get drunk and have a great old time. Straight okay, up. Luckily, that was it. Uh, you know, like, I think most people are pretty reasonable. You know, abortion, regardless of how you feel about it, not fun. But there is this, like, small sliver yeah. of people who are like, I'm going to party, I'm going to do it in the street, I'm going to, you know, make a whole video about it. And they all happen to also be, you know, uh, blue-haired. No, this girl has about a, any lot a lot of, of other things on. she needs to work out before she has sex. You know what I mean? <laughs> Get some of that stuff off your face, lady. What are you doing? Yeah, if What only... are you really doing? Yeah. You know? <laughs> like when you wake up in the morning and she's brushing her teeth and like it's clanking on those things. You think mm -hmm. she's like, I'm doing it right. What Come is my, on. my grandfather calls that the bullhorn. You know, you just drag him oh, by the yeah. bullhorn. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I do have a feeling she's going to have, like you said, so many other things to worry about before before being pregnant is, is one of those. But her eyelashes are fantastic. I know. I mean, she's got some skills. <laughs> are you going? You're going to RSVP to this party, or? Oh my God, I'm busy that day. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I might go just for the content. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here's a next one. Uh, this is about uh, skinny people being in quote fat spaces, whatever yeah. that means. I've never seen a fat space before, but here we go. Hi everyone, this is just a friendly reminder that if a fat person is talking about their own experience with the fat phobia, their own experience with their body, with their fat body, their larger body, their plus size body, whatever they want to call it, that when a fat person is talking about their own sh their own experience, whatever the f*** it is. That's not an invitation for thin people to insert themselves <laughs> in a conversation that's not about them. Just so you know. Because when a marginalized person, yes, because fat people are marginalized, if you don't f understand that, then look at intersectionality uh -oh. and the different intersections. Oh Read up! Body oh. size is one of them. Well, I accept that she's fat. I also <laughs> accept that, you know, like, I wouldn't... It, wait, what are we doing? Really? <laughs> I love it. I mean, she's fat. She should lose weight, uh, uh, but that's not really her problem. She has a she has a problem with her ego. She has a problem with uh, not really understanding what being a sort of virtuous human is. Yep. Her weight is the least of her problems. Which is like the same thing with the abortion one. Pregnancy is the least of your problems. You yeah. know, when I was working for the left, right, in the organization that I walked through there, they had posters that said, you know, never give anybody advice on how to eat healthy, how to exercise. <laughs> it's inherently fat phobic. But also, so skinny, is skinny a marginalized thing? Because you sometimes you see these skinny people and you're like, have a sandwich, dude. Yeah. So it's like, could this, <laughs> like, can only perfectly proportioned people Say like us, uh, you know, uh, look at pretty yeah. great. Are, are we not allowed to say anything? But if like, if both of us like didn't eat for six days. We're still not apart. We're too privileged. Damn. Skinny is privileged. And I, you know what I take issue with is the phobic part of the word. Who right. said I was scared of you? Like, I'm not scared. It, it, I, to me, it implies like there's some some sort of fear surrounding mm -hmm. it. Well, I, like, sometimes, no. I do get nervous around very fat people sometimes. <laughs> really? What yeah. are you nervous about? <laughs> no, no, because you never, you feel like they might sort of fall over under the weight of their oh. own whatever and they could fall on you scared for them yeah scared they could them. you know you could hurt your knee or something worse <laughs> okay you could fall on a dog whatever it <laughs> so might be fat, you are just on record look into the camera and say i'm dave rubin and i am fat phobic no i'm oh. not fat phobic because a phobia as you know my friend mm. is an irrational fear i think oh, it's quite okay. rational to think a fat person might fall <laughs> on you and crush you i am rationally scared of fat yeah people. that's not phobia a phobia is an irrational fear <laughs> okay Fair enough, Arachnophobia, guys. the irrational fear of spiders. You know what oh I'm saying? Oh my gosh, we need to teach a class on this. Yeah, this think about it. If there was do. a fat person literally right next to you, right there, standing right, right, next right. to you, and they were teetering a little, you'd freak out. I might be a little worried. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, 
Uh, good show, out, good Taylor. show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one. Okay. okay. This is uh, a young man. I'm going to say it, guys. I know yeah, it's a little offensive to say. This is Dylan Mulvaney, who now identifies as a woman, has documented his TikTok journey, day X of being a woman, and has now been invited and has uh, spoken at the Forbes Women's Summit. Uh, here's a video of the common content that Dylan Mulvaney typically creates. Day 66, being a girl, and today I'm in nature. Trees, I love them. Oh, let me pause here, actually. Dylan actually refuses to identify as a woman because he feels more like a girl. I should also add that. Hey. Water, sanity. lakes, I love them. Heels, they're my hiking heels. I love them. Okay, come on. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, this is, this is like supposed to be Ricky, funny? This is, no, no, it's supposed to be real. Coconut I mean, a water, little it, jokey, but. Mad. Just love it. Yeah, I don't like coconut Winter water, vine. by the way. I know a lot love of people it. do, and they find it offensive. Love them. It's gross. Yeah. I think we get the gist here. But yeah. That's Dylan Mulvaney, uh, uh, a, apparently the arbiter of, of women's equality at the Forbes Women's Summit. Congratulations, feminists. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Dylan is a shining example. Yep. Of on a womanhood. Hill. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what I say? Nobody does womanhood better than a man. Yeah. Uh, also sponsored by Tampax, which is true. Surely you can't be serious. I'm surely serious and don't call me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she almost on. had it. <laughs> oh, I handed that to you. You really did. Oh. On a silver plate. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was the easiest softball. Scott, slow edit it motion. out. Edit no, do not, <laughs> Scott. There will be no editing. That was literally, oh, can you uh, just off the T-ball uh, thing? This is why, you know, I was never a comedian, Dave, like you. That's why we brought you on to do this job. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you failed, both of us. <laughs> um, but yeah, so clearly a shining example of womanhood. I'm so glad Forbes decided to make this an example uh, for young women everywhere. Really breaking the glass ceiling on that one. You could have said, surely you can't be serious, which also <sighs> is Dylan's uh, trans name or whatever they go by. Dude, I'm starting to think that Dylan isn't serious from the video. No, that's that what I I'm see, saying. Something about this doesn't seem right. Something seems like clout chasey, getting views, getting sponsorships, all in in the name of walking all over women, just like Leah Thomas. Like I don't believe you. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah, I don't, put it yeah. on the record. Me, same here. Same, same here. here. Okay, well at least we're in the same boat together. Last one, Dave. Okay. Let's go on a gender adventure together. <laughs> a little gender adventure yesterday. I did. <laughs> For the first time ever in my life, I finally worked up the courage and asked my two best friends if they could use he, him pronouns for me and call me August just for the day. And like, just for the day. They did. <laughs> and they only messed up like a couple times. But as soon as they did, they would quickly say August instead. <laughs> and like, I've just like never done that before ever in my life. And I'm really glad I was with the two people in my life that I truly trust the most. And I'm really grateful that I was able to experiment and finally try this. And I will say it was kind of nice getting to hear he, him, because my friends don't use that a lot for me. But I will say it was weird to hear August and not my name. And I don't know. Okay, it's enough. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Enough. What? <laughs> wait, Are you August confused? is his, her boy name? That's for the day. One for one, one day. day. For one day. Yeah. August is her boy name for one day. One day. She also says that my friends don't usually, didn't she say my friends don't usually, or they don't call me he, him a lot. So there's right. an implication that she's said this to them before. This person I, 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 is known for just like switching the gender stuff, talking about different sexualities, identifies as something called a cupio sexual or something like that, which I've never heard of in my life. God. <laughs> I, I'm getting old, man. Are you feeling I good mean, as a member of the LGBT or, community, Dave? I am not a member of the LGBT community. I'm not. I'm honestly not. I love it. I I'm love not. it. No, I'm it's married true. to a dude. That's it. <laughs> I am not a member of a community. I want nothing good. to do with these people. Good. Um, like, leave, uh, leave it alone. Yeah. Leave it yeah. alone. Let it rest. Also, like, stay off drugs, everybody, you know? <laughs> Stay off the You drugs. know, I'd like to think it's as simple as that. Like, they're just on drugs. Yeah. Uh, but what if it's not drugs, Dave? What if it's <sighs> Stay off the internet. Stay off I the think internet. That's, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Are you going to let your future, you know, your kids on TikTok? 
My kids will not be on TikTok. No. My kids, I don't know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? I could end up, you see where this all ends up. Like yeah, I could yeah. really end up as one of these people. Like, Just like off the off grid. Off the grid, gone. Doomsday air. Before I said to you that we you could come to my house with your kid, but now mm-hmm. I'm thinking really a cabin <laughs> far, no. far. No, no, you can come, but it's. I'm just <laughs> okay. saying it's not going to have any communication with the known world. Yeah, I, I think that might be where we're, we're headed here. And, you know, the more I do this, the more I watch these things, Taylor, the more I give up. I mean, I'm just sitting here like thinking, like, congratulations, guys. You did it. This is progress. We, we've yeah. reached. Yeah, it. yeah. It's the pinnacle. Yeah. Yeah, very exciting. For uh, the... And we'll all be seeing ourselves out. Yeah. <laughs> Catch us in our uh, Off the Grid YouTube series. <laughs> <laughs> that's our next endeavor. Dave, that's all that I'm going to subject you to today. I can't do this anymore, frankly. Okay, I have good. to go home and wash myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your commentary and lasting this long. Guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time we post a new video for you guys. And you can go and check out Dave and all the work that he's doing, the show that he does at The Ruben Report and at Locals.com. Pronouns are he, she, her, him. <laughs> and they. They. <laughs> what? Bye, guys. It. <laughs>